guys welcome back to my channel to my new subscribers welcome um tonight i'm just going to talk about two things that i hold very close to me and one of them is the cancer walk the republic cancer walk um trinidad and tobago cancer society hold it every year and this year it is going to be held on the 27th of october around queen's park savannah as usual we only have it at two places we have it at tobago and at queen's park savannah i am a volunteer there and i take part in the walk every year and i always carry a group of friends i have a friend that i invited her one year and she invited her church members and they they, they came out male and female which was really good and i also carry other friends with me so this video is even though i'm sharing what i hold close to me um i'm also inviting you all to come to the walk it's very i can't describe it into words but you have to experience it to understand you know seeing so many women and men and children coming out to do the walk we do one lap around the savannah you could walk, run, skip, dance, anything. You just finish. Everybody gets a medal. And when you register, you get a chance to win hampers. So it's really nice. We have um, entertainment. We normally have Faye and Bungie and Marcia Miranda, who is a cancer survi survivor. She had breast cancer. And she's also a volunteer at the society. Um, this year, we, are, the color, we have two colors. Normally, we used two color t-shirts last year was purple and a nice republic bank blue this year we are using yellow and jade so you have two options we have normal tees and female tees and kiddies so you can call the cancer society and i will also link the facebook page down below so if you have any questions but they are located at rosalino street in woodbrook right opposite adam smith square and you could get your t-shirts there you could call and speak to Anne marie is her name and she will give you all the details and basically that's it so i'm inviting all of you all trinidadians who are viewing my video right now to come out and support i mean as females we have breasts and any one of us could be diagnosed with breast cancer and it's really heart rendering to see so many people coming out to support our cause i mean because we also have things on sale that the money goes towards cancer research and to housing people who are in the final stages so it's really nice and you build friendships and relationships and you know it's like every year you go you see the people and say hey how you going you know last year i saw you i see you come out this year you know and conversation starts up and you know people become volunteers you can invite them and you know bonds happen and it's just a real nice family early on in the morning they will have um screening pap smear and breast exams at a course of course some things are free um, they will be doing blood pressure, you know, like a whole little health fair. And as I said, there will be things on sale. So I am tagging all YouTubers of Trinidad to come out and support. We could probably do it as a group. I don't know. And I'm also tagging my subscribers to come out and support. I know for some, some people might say too far. But I mean, if, if, if you all form a group you all could hire maxi because they could park alongside i mean it's, it's a really good cause and i assure you you'll have fun real fun you're gonna see people that you haven't seen for a while and i'm guaranteeing that i mean we have a lot of giveaways gatorade you play yogurt um different things that you can sample you once you finish the race you get a medal and uh, you get a nice seven seas bag those who finish you know the race within half sec um minutes you know get a bigger bag and those like myself who normally finish in like 49 minutes 55 minutes yeah i don't take the hour because i walk and plus my son is with me i always carry him yet every year he's four now and he have been to four yeah there was one time he was a baby and he fell asleep 
no he was not baby he was about two years old and he fell asleep and i had to walk with him on my shoulder from the beginning till the end and he woke up at the end of the race you know right so we were taking turns and uh, when we were walking taking turns and holding him because that child was solid so if i could do it and finish anybody could do it and finish and it's not about winning it's just having fun and doing it for a cause know that you came out and supported a cause right guys so i really hope i see a lot of you inbox me and let me know that you are coming and i will try to meet up with you guys and you know we could probably walk together as a group just let me know that you're coming and I will really, really appreciate it because it will mean a lot to me. Because I go every year, as I say, and I normally take part in the Scotiabank walk. But this year I didn't take part. I had some stuff, so I could not participate in that. So with all that said, guys, I hope I see each and one of you all down there on Saturday the 27th at 3 o'clock. I'll be there, my son will be there, and a group of my friends will be there. Alright guys, the other thing I needed to talk about was Alter. For those who don't know, Alter is um, a program, a voluntary program that helps individuals to read and write. Um, I don't know if a lot of you all know, but in Trinidad and Tobago, there are a lot of people who are unable to read and write. Many of them very, 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 very young and they use thumb print because some of them can't even write their name. And for those who could write their names, it's only their names they could write. And um, there are different levels, you know, and there are those who could read to survive in society. But some things, you know, they could write their name, know where they live, write that. But, you know, street signs, labels and stuff, it's very hard for them. I'm a volunteer there. I tutor and it's very nice seeing somebody at, let us say, at, eight percent they came in literacy and then they leave with let's say 60. um there are different levels of alta and you know if you don't perform well in level one we cannot promote you to level two and you know sometimes we may promote you just to see how you can handle it and then when you reach at level two we may keep you and not move you up to level three because you haven't come up to standard you know um basically i mean if you want to be a volunteer just inbox me and i will give you the information but if you know anybody who cannot read and write now the, the registration has passed because normally we let you register at the library um the second weekend of september at any library right um but registration is closed and classes have started but if you know anybody they could still you could speak to Alta, the head offices, and see if you could get them squeezed. And I'm just throwing it out to you guys because a lot of people don't know about Alta. But I have seen so many people benefit from Alta. I mean a lot of people drop out because of due to family, lack of family support, you know, and I, I just want to highlight, uh, you know, to you guys that people are illiterate and sometimes people are ashamed to tell you. But if you notice it, don't make fun of them, you know, assist them. It's not about making fun because, you know, it, it kind of lowers your self-esteem, you know. And if you could assist them in any way you can, but don't make them out. As we just say in Trinidad, don't make them out and, you know, belittle them. Because, you know, it takes a great effort and a lot you know to come out and say you need help in reading and writing it, it it that is the hardest thing for a lot of people to admit that they cannot read and write and in my job i come across a lot of people and that cannot read and write and that is what urged me to be a volunteer for alta it's i mean as i said as a volunteer i guess you don't get paid but you give up your time and it's really rewarding there are some people who don't try and it frustrates you knowing that they just want you to tell them rather than try they're not trying but there are those who they try they go home they do their homework they try you know they will come miss i do this you know tell me if it right now please they come early before class and you know as much as you want to work with them you also have to work with the ones who 
you know a little slower you have to put effort in them so if any of you all guys want to be a volunteer just let me know i will send you the link i'll send you the information it's a nice feeling is you know it's really nice seeing somebody as i said before there's it was this one lady at my job that all she could have done was sign she could she used to use thumbprint and after one term at Alta, she was able to sign her name and she was so proud of herself and i mean this lady was older this lady was in her 50s yeah and that was a great accomplishment for her a great accomplishment you know and it's really heartwarming to see the joy on somebody's face when they have accomplished something it's really nice but i don't know i'm just highlight i'm just doing this video to highlight information and also to highlight that we have an active program in trinidad and tobago that deals with people who cannot read and write so if again if you want to be a volunteer just let me know and i will hook you guys up right so you know just assist somebody in you know if you come across somebody assist somebody no matter how little it, it makes a big difference right so we complain a lot about a lot of things but you know we were blessed enough to be able to go to school you know because yesterday yesterday no it was today today i met a guy at my job and he's 19 and he cannot read and write and it's really sad because he's limited in jobs you know i mean we could always say i didn't tell him to study his work it's easy for us to say but none of us know his circumstances you know his home life you know if his mother was ill and he had to stay up to see about her you know which one was more important if his father was beating on the mother and to protect her he stayed home you know nobody knows i mean i know but you know so don't judge somebody you know and say all of us had equal opportunity and it's what you choose to do yes that is true but everybody circumstances beyond financial is different so and again is what we deem as individuals what we deem as important his family life to him was more important than his education. So don't judge people when they cannot read and write or they approach you miss. You can help more with this. And don't, um, how to put it, you know, if somebody approach you miss, don't feel you're better than somebody when, you know, well, you know, and you're telling them the word or whatever. Don't feel, don't give them a little attitude because don't be little to them. They're still a person, no matter what, who they are, what age they are. You're still a person and everybody have something called pride even though it's a deadly sin we all have pride and we all hurt so you know i just doing this little video and sharing a part of me with you because a lot of you all well none of you all know what i no, none of you all know my job and then none of you all know that i volunteer at cancer society no alter so i'm just sharing a part of me as well and trying to wrong some people to to volunteer it's rewarding for self you know so yeah and i'm going to end my video here because it's already 13 minutes 13 minutes 38 seconds so again guys be safe on the nation's road be careful where you at no matter if it's an area that you're accustomed to please be for the chant um i think i'm gonna make a next video of why i keep saying that but yeah something happened recently so yeah so just be vigilant on where you are and you know life is precious and always study family how much you love them because you don't know you know we see them anymore and we don't know what will happen in the evening and it's a very scary feeling you know so thank god for life and you know everything else will fall into place okay so keep safe and see you guys on saturday the 27th of october at 3 p.m queen's park savannah bye